occupation that's more than just physically demanding. It also needs good hand-eye coordination, strength, and attention to detail. If this sounds like you, and if you like working with powerful tools and machines, you might get a rush from the high-pressure occupation of Sandblaster. Sandblasters use a powerful tool to blast fine particles and air at super high speed. This cleans, smooths, and shapes things like rock, glass, and metal. To get a finer look at the nitty-gritty of this career, we talked to a Sandblaster working in Alberta. Hi, my name is Dustin, and I'm a Sandblaster. Sandblasters use high-pressure lines with air mixed with sand to etch and to clean surfaces, smooth surfaces, so paint adheres to it. There's a variety of different types of abrasive material that you can use as a sandblaster. Some of those include silica sand, green diamond, black diamond, black beauty. Walnuts can be used as well. Sandblasters may be required to work in a variety of areas. You could be working in a commercial setting or an industrial setting. The industrial setting is more of a shop, oil field, whereas the commercial side of it is more exteriors of buildings, sides of tanks, anything like that. Here at Norpoint, we do a lot of blasting for oil field pipe. Sandblasters may be employed by sandblasting and spraying coating companies, cemeteries, road surfacing companies, or industrial cleaning companies. What rating of a rip would you say that is? Typical day as a sandblaster, you'll come into the shop, you will do your safety review, fuel up your compressor, inspect your lines, make sure all your connections are nice and tight, and you're going to do a test fire. Tools and equipment that we use is high pressure lines, nozzles, silo fed, glass pots, mobile units, glass cabinets, little pressure pots, and most of the equipment has the basic same design. So as a sandblaster, you have to wear steel toe boots, ear plugs, a blast suit, dust mask, a blast hood, inner and outer shields, and the proper blasting gloves. You gotta be comfortable wearing a blast hood. It is very tight. You just basically have to be comfortable in a confined space area. You gotta be physically fit to be a sandblaster. You are holding a high pressure hose for minimum six to eight hours a day. You're bending, kneeling, and sometimes you might be working at heights in confined spaces. The environment is extremely dusty. It's extremely noisy. You will be out in the elements, working in hot, cold weather, tripping hazards. So you gotta be aware of your surroundings at all times. You always gotta think ahead on this job. Push this down. In my opinion, on the job training is very important. There is no technical school to actually pick up and go to to start your career. But employers tend to hire people with high school education, or related experience. You also need to have WMIS and CSTS training. And some places may require H2S Alive training, confined space training, harness training, fall arrest training, and also transportation of dangerous goods. There is a lot of room for advancement. With experience in this industry, you can move up to a supervisory role. What attracted me to this industry is money, and I love the outdoors. I try not to uh, bring my work life home. I like to enjoy playing golf, hockey, baseball, anything to get me out of the house. After you see a rusty pipe come through and you blast it, it's nice white metal, and you see the end result, it's very satisfying. Sandblasters are good with working safely and in noisy conditions, under pressure, using pressure. If you've got what it takes, this job's a blast! Discover more about this occupation, including training requirements and salary ranges, and the occupational profile on the ALICE website. And learn about related occupations, such as auto detailer and construction craft laborer. Explore the possibilities. Go to alice.alberta.ca